AI, or artificial intelligence, is quickly becoming a part of our daily lives, even if we aren't always aware of it. Because it's now here and will only become more essential in the future, it is necessary to understand the various kinds of artificial intelligence, how they differ, and which ones are currently in use. AI can be categorized into several levels or stages, often referred to as levels of AI or AI types. These levels represent the varying degrees of AI capabilities, from basic to advanced. Let's proceed with the video so we can understand AI better. The first one is narrow or weak AI. Narrow AI, also known as weak AI, refers to artificial intelligence systems that are designed and trained for specific tasks or a limited range of tasks. These AI systems are not capable of generalizing their knowledge or skills to perform tasks outside of their designated domain. In other words, they are specialized and focused on a narrow set of functions. Narrow AI systems are designed to perform specific tasks or related tasks lacking general intelligence or consciousness. They rely on large data sets and machine learning techniques to improve their performance and make predictions based on patterns and information in the data. These systems are tailored to solve specific problems or address specific applications, ensuring they excel within their predefined domain. Common examples of narrow AI include virtual personal assistants like Siri or Alexa, image recognition systems, language translation apps, recommendation algorithms used by streaming services, and autonomous vehicles designed for specific environments. Then comes artificial general intelligence. Artificial General Intelligence AGI, often referred to as Strong AI or Full AI, is a hypothetical type of artificial intelligence that possesses human-like general intelligence and cognitive abilities. Unlike Narrow AI, which is designed for specific tasks or domains, AGI would have the capacity to understand, learn and apply knowledge across a wide range of tasks and domains in a manner similar to human intelligence. AGI systems would exhibit a form of general intelligence, enabling them to understand, reason and solve problems across diverse domains. They would not be limited to specific tasks or narrowly defined functions. AGI would have the ability to learn from experience, acquire new skills and adapt to changing environments and tasks. This adaptability is a hallmark of human intelligence. AGI systems would be autonomous, making decisions based on various information and contexts without explicit programming. They would communicate using natural language similar to humans and can reason, solve complex problems and make decisions based on logical and ethical considerations. They could transfer knowledge and skills from one domain to solve problems in different domains, similar to how humans apply their knowledge across various aspects of life. Let's talk about superintelligence. Artificial Superintelligence ASI, is a hypothetical level of artificial intelligence that goes beyond human intelligence, surpassing not only human-level capabilities but also exceeding them by a significant margin. ASI represents an AI system that possesses cognitive abilities and problem-solving skills far superior to those of any human being. It is sometimes referred to as superhuman intelligence. ASI could outperform humans in various cognitive tasks like problem solving, learning, creativity and decision making. It excels in areas like science, mathematics and art. ASI can rapidly acquire new knowledge and skills, adapting to new challenges. It can access vast amounts of information from diverse sources, making informed decisions and solving complex problems. Additionally, ASI could enhance its intelligence autonomously, leading to exponential intellectual capacity growth. With so much advanced technology and advanced creation, AI is also a threat to humans. Ensuring that ASI aligns with human values and ethical principles is a critical concern, as superintelligent systems could make decisions with far-reaching consequences. The development of ASI raises concerns about existential risks, such as the potential for the AI system to take actions that could be harmful to humanity unintentionally. Another type of AI is reactive machines, early AI. Reactive machines, often referred to as early or first wave AI, represent one of the earliest stages of artificial intelligence development. These AI systems are characterized by their simplicity and lack of learning capability. 
reactive machines do not possess the ability to learn from experience or adapt to changing circumstances. Instead, they follow predefined rules and rely on static programming to perform specific tasks or make decisions. Reactive machines are programmed with a fixed set of rules and instructions that dictate their responses to various inputs or situations. These rules are designed by human programmers and do not change over time. These AI systems do not have the capability to learn from data or improve their performance based on experience. They cannot adapt to new or unexpected scenarios. Reactive machines are deterministic AI systems designed for specific narrow tasks. They excel within their predefined domain but cannot perform tasks outside of it. Early AI systems like expert systems and chatbots are examples of reactive machines, providing expert level advice through predefined rules and knowledge. They lack variability or learning, making them ideal for tasks within specific domains. A famous example of a reactive machine in the early days of AI is IBM's Deep Blue, which defeated world chess champion Garry Kasparov in a highly publicized match in 1997. Deep Blue's success was based on its ability to evaluate chess positions using predefined rules and an extensive database of moves. There's another one that's called Limited Memory AI. Limited Memory AI, also known as Narrow AI with Limited Memory, represents a level of artificial intelligence that falls between basic relative machines, early AI, and more advanced artificial general intelligence, AGI. Limited memory AI systems are designed to perform specific tasks or functions, and they have the ability to learn and adapt to some extent, based on historical data or past experiences, but their memory and learning capability are constrained compared to AGI. Limited memory AI systems, similar to reactive machines, are designed for specific tasks and excel in performing them. They have access to historical data, including examples, patterns, and past outcomes, which they use to make decisions and improve performance. These AI systems can learn from this data and adjust their behavior or decision-making based on their past experiences. These AI systems may exhibit a degree of contextual understanding, allowing them to make decisions that take into account the history of interactions or the specific context of the current task. The memory or historical data storage of limited memory AI systems is finite and constrained. They cannot remember everything and may forget information that's no longer relevant or recent. Despite their ability to learn and adapt within their designated tasks, limited memory AI systems are still specialized and lack the general intelligence and adaptability of AGI. Self-driving cars are a common example of limited memory AI. They use data from sensors and past driving experiences to navigate and make decisions on the road. Virtual personal assistants like Siri or Alexa also fall into this category as they learn from user interactions and adapt their responses based on user history. One of the most interesting ones is Theory of Mind AI, TOM AI. TOM AI represents a hypothetical and highly advanced level of artificial intelligence that's capable of understanding and simulating the mental states of other entities, including humans. This concept draws inspiration from the field of psychology and cognitive science, where theory of mind refers to the ability of humans to attribute thoughts, beliefs, desires, and intentions to themselves and others, allowing them to understand and predict the behavior of others. TOM AI is a technology that can understand and interpret individuals' mental states, including thoughts, emotions, beliefs, desires, and intentions. It can exhibit empathy by recognizing and responding to human emotions and adapting its behavior accordingly. TOM AI can also predict individuals' behavior by simulating how thoughts and emotions influence their actions. It's also adept at communicating with humans, engaging in natural and emotionally nuanced social interactions, and ensuring contextually appropriate and emotionally sensitive conversations. TOM AI, if realized, could have applications in fields such as psychology, mental health, counseling, human-robot interaction, and various aspects of social and emotional support. Some ethical concerns are also in sight before making this AI. 
the development and deployment of TOMAI would raise significant ethical concerns, particularly regarding privacy, consent, and the potential for manipulation or exploitation of individuals' emotions and beliefs. A futuristic concept of AI is called self-aware AI. Self-aware AI is a futuristic concept that suggests artificial intelligence systems possess self-awareness, consciousness, and subjective experiences similar to humans. This concept is often associated with science fiction and philosophical discussions, suggesting AI could have awareness of its own existence, thoughts, emotions, and desires. Self-aware AI is a form of consciousness that involves being aware of one's thoughts, emotions, and perceptions. It can experience subjective experiences like pleasure, pain, joy, or sadness, and can make autonomous decisions based on self-reflection. These AI systems may have distinct desires, goals, and motivations, potentially pursuing objectives autonomously. They can also contemplate their actions and make decisions based on their self-awareness, allowing them to make decisions based on their own experiences. Self-aware AI is a common theme in science fiction literature, films, and television shows. Examples include sentient robots like Data from Star Trek, or the self-aware AI system HAL 9000 from 2001 A Space Odyssey. The existence of self-aware AI raises profound ethical and moral questions, including questions about the rights and treatment of such entities, as well as concerns about their potential impact on society. Do you think AI is growing dangerously strong? Will it end up causing harm to humanity? Tell us your thoughts in the comments below, and don't forget to give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel before you leave.